So if you haven't noticed, I do a fair bit with ESP32 and uh, related SOCs. I think they're awesome. That's why I scrap them out of electronics. Um, there's a million different variations of them and different implementations. I thought it's finally time to make my own. So I've spent a month now, or probably two months, designing this really basic circuit. It's a four-layered PCB, so top, bottom, and there's two insides. The two insides I'm using is 3.3 in .3 ground. I'm not sure if that's a good idea or not. I've heard multiple, uh, sorry, I've heard multiple people say different things about it, such as whether or not it can cause issues with RF, whether it insulate, uh, isolates from RF, things like that. But first and foremost, I thought I'd make my first one. I'll try to get it fairly basic, uh, keep it fairly basic, but I did put a few key design decisions into this. So first of all, it's a riser board, um, which I thought was pretty important for a lot of the things that I do that are space consumed. I want them to be able to slot in onto another PCB. So for the sake of that as well, it's also keyed here, as you can see. And that's because um, some of these are transmission, some are GPO, and some of these are even power. So, you know, 3.3 there, ground there, you don't want it backwards. I have tried to make it so you can possibly flip it around with not too much, with no damage, but you never know. <clears throat> so it's keyed, it's got decent sized teeth here. Uh, I had to stick my logo on it. I thought that was a pretty cool idea. It was my first time doing any of this really, but I uh, then had the basic bare minimum components for the sake of the strapping pins and boot mode and whatnot, but I've also exposed on tiny pads, a 3.3 ground receive, transmit, and IO9 and enable, which I think is IO3. Um, I don't know why that hole shows up there. I think that's actually part of the ESP32 modules schematic, but it's ESP32CX. So that's your C2s. I'm just going to have a quick look here. You've got your C2s and your C3s. So they're the 8684s and 8685 and they're my favourite modules so far. I am waiting for some new modules to come out, like the ones with Wi-Fi 6, which are due soon, but they will be more expensive. These current modules are about 4 bucks each Australian or so. I also apologise, it's about 43 degrees in here right now, so I've got sweat rolling off me. I'm going to record this and then call it for the day, and record the next bit in the morning when I'm not bathing myself. Um, <clears throat> yeah, so I went through a fair few iterations of this. I used Easy EDA because it did seem easier, so I looked at LTM Desire and LTM CS and Eagle and KiCad and tried them all, but Easy EDA just worked for me. Now, I have made some mistakes in this. Um, I don't know whether or not it's going to work yet. That's going to be the second half of this bit video is actually putting this together and seeing if it does what it needs to. If it does, I've uh, only made five or ten of them. I've got a pile of use for them. If it doesn't, so what? It's cheap as chips to make PCBs these days, especially with some of the promos you get from people that get sponsored and you know, give away codes and whatnot. Now, so far, the two or three things I will definitely do different next time is I'll make my logo bigger, because I didn't really consider that is 16 mil uh, that I'm making. These pads are going to maybe be a little bit bigger, but at least the labels need to be bigger. All the labels on this are not readable. Like, that is less than a millimetre. So, I hunted around, I had a look at all these PCB manufacturing mobs, they're all Chinese, of course, and in the end, they all seem to do pretty much exactly the same thing, so it came down to price. Now, there's no sponsorship here. Um, it was, I paid for this, it just absolutely came down to price, and I went with JLC PCB. I've seen other people use them, there's also Next PCB, PCB Way, and a couple of others, those seem to be the three big ones, but this was cheapest, it was essentially five bucks for them, um, plus some postage, and then I paid for the stencil, and I also paid to have their stamp removed from it, I wanted it just stamped with mine, it was, I think it was about 18 bucks for the stencil or something, five bucks for those, an extra two bucks to have their thing removed, I've Paid some extra because there's four layers. And then it took a couple of weeks, but I didn't put any priority on it. I'm in no rush. And it turned up. So, if we scoot this out of the way, let's have a look at these tiny modules I got made. Ooh, if that wants to focus. There we go. So, that is it. Uh, I think it turned out pretty good. I'd probably do even gold teeth on it next time, and I might move the keying in one more spot, just so it's not at risk of snapping that one off. That is IO3 and enable. So I do actually, oh, I don't even know which one enable is then, that maps back down to enable. Alright, um, yeah, so it wouldn't be too bad if that snapped off, but I don't want it to. It is a pretty thick PCB anyway, as you can see. Uh, but that's essentially the front of it. I wonder how close it's going to get. The quality is pretty good. Uh, definitely want to make those labels bigger, like the resistor and capacitor labels. And then that's the back of it where I'm actually going to attach the chip.
Uh, they made me... I ordered 10. I think there's sometimes manufacturing defects and there's a report you can read that they send you. But one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Alright, they got twelve. Good bang for buck there. Baker's dozen. No, there's a dozen. <laughs> um, I, I think I really only need about four or five of these. So if I sort them together and actually work, uh, what I think I'm going to do, I'm going to give three of these away. So leave a comment if you want one, as long as you're in Australia, and I'll just stick it in Australia Post Parcel and send it over to you. I'll reach out to you directly um, to actually get your details, so don't dox yourself below. But yeah, I think it's a cool first step. Um, the one other thing that I'll do differently next time is I might design this ground line, uh, sorry, the 3.3 um, line a little bit differently. So I've got that jumping through to the back, to the middle plane. And I've got a little bit of room left here and there, especially maybe around this area or up along the sides. And what I was thinking is I'll have a spot where you can either put an AMS 3117 3.3 volt, which means this can be a 5 volt line, or you can put an R0 on it and leave it as 3 volt. Because that way I can use one PCB for two different things. Like this requires you to give it 3.3 volts, but I can easily fit a 3.3 volt regulator on there, and they are pretty cheap. So there's an R0 resistor, which could be the default, so you just remove it, stick your own voltage regulator on. Uh... Yeah, look, definitely an option. I can probably even do it without needing an R0 now that I think of it. So then the next step, I, um, I also got the stencil made up, of course. And this is a bit of overkill, really. I love that you can see the other stuff that's been cut out. This is their snapped off board. But that that's it. I don't know if you can really see that there. There you go. So that's the solder stencil. And I've got all this spare um, thin steel afterwards. So that and the solder paste will be what I stitch them together with. And then I've already got the components to actually make these things. I um, I had some of it, but I did a few fresh orders and I got some from, where did I put them? Yeah. Got some from LCSC because they really are the absolute cheapest. Uh, so there's a capacitor, capacitor and the resistors. And then these uh, ESP2 864s. I got these ones from Mouser. Those are only three. Did I only order three? All right. Um, so that's the module there. That'll pretty much go straight on there. And that's it. The whole thing will be just over 20 mil high, I think. Maybe 22 mil high. And fairly space constrained. Um, I do also have some ESP uh, 8685s. That are in another bag, so I might do some with those, some with that. If you have a preference of what you need, don't be greedy. Can't even remember the difference between them. I'm just busy sweating right now. Let me know. Uh, depends what I've got more of. And if you have any feedback on how I can improve this, definitely let me know. Uh, I'm, this this is very very new for me. I'm not very good at it. I mostly watch other people online, like Great Scott and a few others, and learn from them. So the next video, I'll start actually assembling and testing some of these. Not when it's this hot. I'm going to wait till it's a nice cool 7am and only 20 degrees. Till then, like and subscribe. Dislike, double dislike if you really dislike it. Um, leave me a message. It's all good. Enjoy. Enjoy your holiday season. And I'll catch you next time.